Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have x plus y is equal to 2 and then x to the fifth power plus y to the fifth power is equal to 82. And we have to find the values of x and y which are real to this problem. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. As you can see, we have x plus y is equal to 2. So from here, I will just assume that x is equal to 1 and then y is also equal to 1. And of course, these are not the only numbers you can add up to get to. It's just an assumption, okay? All right. So from here, I will just introduce a zero variable. And what I mean is plus or minus m. And then share this among these equations, okay? So I will just say x plus 1 plus m. Okay, then I'll bring the negative sign over here. And you notice that if you sum these two equations, you still get two. Okay, now I'm going to substitute these equations into this equation. Okay, so wherever I see x from this equation, I'm going to put 1 plus m. And then wherever I see y, I'm going to put 1 minus m. So here we have 1 plus m to the fifth power, then plus you have 1 minus m to the fifth power, and this should be equal to 82. All right. Now let's use binomial expansion to expand this. Now I'm going to do this one by one so that you will see every step that I go through. All right. So let's pick this one first. So we have 1 plus m to the fifth power is equal to. Now from Pascal's triangle, the coefficients are 1. 5, 10, 10, and then 5 and 1. All right. So here I will just introduce the operational sign, which is addition, okay, to each of them. All right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to assume that the first term over here is 1 to the fifth power, and then this one is m to the fifth power. But considering this one, since the base is 1, if you multiply this to any of these terms, you still get the exact same thing. So I won't worry myself on this x. Now let's focus on this. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to add this one to each terms from this side to this side in such a way that the power will be reduced by 1. All right. So starting from this side, we have m to the fifth power. We have m to the fourth power, m to the third power. Then we have m to the second power. We have here to the m. And then m to the zero power is still one. All right. So I won't worry myself on that. So I'll break this one down. This is one, then plus, then plus m to the fifth power. So we are done with this one. Now let's focus on the second one, which is one minus m to the fifth power and this is equal to like we did earlier the coefficients are one then we have five all right so we won't bother ourselves on this since one times any number is still the number so we will focus on negative m to the fifth power so i'm going to distribute this one from this side to this side in such a way that the power will also reduce by one so we have negative m to the fifth power. Then here we have negative m to the fourth power. We are done, okay? Right, so let's simplify this. So we have one over here, then this side will be minus five m. Then since the power is an even number, it will affect this positive. So it will be positive 10, m to the second power then since the power is an odd number it will still be negative so we have negative 10 m to the third power then we have plus 5 m to the fourth power and lastly we have minus m to the fifth power so we are done for the second one so from here we can add them let me write them together so that addition will be simpler for me so we have then minus 
m to the fifth power. And don't forget that the whole of this one is equal to 82. Okay, so now let's add them up. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I'm going to draw a line here. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then this one will cancel this. Then from here we have 10m squared plus 10m squared. That gives me 20m squared. Then from here this one will also cancel this. Then we have plus 10m to the fourth power. Then this one will also cancel this. And the whole thing is equal to 82. Now let's equate everything to 0. So we have 10m to the fourth power then plus 20m to the second power plus 2 minus 82 and this is equal to 0. Okay, so simplifying this we have 10m to the fourth power then plus 20m to the second power minus 80 is equal to 0. Alright, so we can divide through by 10. So we have here by 10, here by 10 here by 10 and then here by 10 as well okay so that this one will cancel this now we have m to the fourth power then plus 2m to the second power minus 8 is equal to 0 okay so from here we have to find m from this ninth equation and from this side what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw my simple table okay all right. Then the operational sign over here is multiplication. Then we have addition and then multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this m to the fourth power to this side. Okay. Then I'll bring this one here. Then I'll bring this one also here. All right. So we have m to the fourth power. Then from here we have 2m to the second power, then negative 8. From here I can say that m to the second power times another m to the second power will give me m to the fourth power okay then from this side m to the second power plus m to the second power will give me 2m to the second power all right then from this side I will say 4 times negative 2 will give me negative 8 then from here you can just match this one to this two and then this m squared to this so from here the factors become m squared minus two as one of the factors then we have m squared plus four as the other factor and this is equal to zero okay so from this point we can say that m to the second power minus two is equal to zero or m to the second power plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's make m the subject from this. So we can say that m to the second power minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2. So that this will cancel this. So we have m to the second power is equal to 2. Since we are looking for m, let's take the square root on both sides. Okay, and don't forget that we have plus or minus here. So that these two will cancel this square root. So we have m is equal to plus or minus root 2. Okay. All right. So let's consider this side. Let's make m the subject from here. So we have m to the second power. Then plus 4 minus 4 is equal to negative 4. Okay. So that this will cancel this. Now we have m to the second power is equal to negative 4. Since we want to find the value of m, Let's take the square root on both sides. Okay, so we have plus or minus here. So this one will cancel this. Now we have m is equal to plus or minus. Now we have negative sign over here, so it will be 2i. Okay, so now that we know the values of m, let's plug them into the initially established equations. Okay, and the first one was x is equal to 1 plus m. And then we have y is equal to 1 minus m okay so from this side we have x1 is equal to we have 1 plus we are considering the positive one first so it will be square root of 2 then we have y1 is equal to 1 minus square root of 2 okay then we have 
x2 is equal to, and let's consider the negative 1, we have 1 minus square root of 2, then y2 is equal to 1 plus square root of 2. Then from this side, since we have i in it, we said we are looking for real solution and not complex. So I'm going to leave it like this, so we can conclude that the final answer to this problem is this. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.